a community studio, which means it's a shared space between other members and students who take pottery classes here. It is a wonderful place. I love it. It's like my second home. So there are three things that I can really do when I come in, which is trimming, throwing, and glazing. I have two things I need to trim today and they are feeling a little bit wet. So I am going to start by glazing. I freaking love it when there's no one here. So before you start glazing anything, you need to wipe it down and make sure there's no dust or any other particles on it, which ensures that the glaze will really stick to the piece. Here I'm waxing the foot on my piece to make sure that no glaze gets stuck to it. Today I am trying out a glaze called Plum Gloss and I'm going to take a paint mixer and mix it up really, really well. And then I dunk her into the glaze and shake her off a little and she is ready to be fired. I'm applying what's called underglaze to my pieces and you can draw little patterns on them but the only issue is you have to go over it like three times to make sure it really shows up. I've only done one coat so I'm going to put on two more coats. Make sure you shake her up. I've already glazed the inside. I guess I could take this time to talk a little bit about myself. Um, I started doing pottery at the very beginning of 2020 in January. And I actually <clears throat> took a class here and I just fell in love with it. It was so therapeutic and I, I was horrible at it but it felt so, like the clay felt so satisfying when I was throwing it, even though I had no idea what I was doing. And I thought it was so cool that you could make practical things like bowls and plates and cups that you could actually use. And I think that's why I was so drawn to it because I'm a pretty practical person. Like, at least I like to think so. And so I feel like it combines the creative side with more like everyday things that you can use. Glazing is done. I'm going to trim these babies now. So after you finish trimming, there are usually scraps on the side and all of those get recycled into a bucket because clay is precious and waste is bad. Once the bucket is completely full, you just pour some water into it, wedge it, and you can use it like it's new clay.
I am about to throw. When I throw, I like to wedge all of the clay I'm gonna throw before I go over to the wheel. So I have my clay for the throwing bigger everyday challenge that I've been doing. And I'm going to cut this baby up and wedge her and make a few more cups and bowls today. I ended up throwing four cups and was planning on throwing some more, but I was absolutely ravenous, so I decided to go home and eat some lunch instead. Um, but before I went home, I cleaned, which is very important, but also, in my opinion, the worst part about doing pottery. One thing to note about pottery is that the dust of the clay, so when it dries and becomes dusty, it's actually very bad for your health because there's silica in the clay, which if you breathe it in, it can get deposited in your lungs and can cause health issues. So you always want to use water to wipe everything down. No vacuuming or dusting, always mopping and sponging. So I am headed home to eat some lunch, but I will be back to unload the kiln later in the afternoon. I think unloading kilns are one of my favorite parts about doing pottery. You get to finally see the fruits of your work, and in my case, I get to see other students and members work as well, and it's always so fun, um, even if the piece was a fail, to look at how things turned out. This was a shot glass that I made, and I am very happy with the way that she turned out. The rest of the afternoon was just unloading and reloading the kiln. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end, and I'll see you in the next one.